Y'all know the name. What's crack like in boys and girls? I am Mitinho and welcome to um, an unboxing video. Yay! So, uh, we've got a new headset. Well, I have a new headset. I can say we, but you're not going to get to use it because I'm greedy. And it's the Turtle Beach Stealth 400. Change your game. Why did I go for this headset? There is a number of reasons. One, the price. £70, it is the cheapest headset I've ever bought, not including the ones I um, cause I actually bought the PDP Afterglow Kral headset, but it was really heavy and really uncomfortable, so I took it back, replaced it with these. The second point is, Turtle Beach, really, really comfortable headsets. Now, I was using that one, and it's been good. This sounds good. But it's kind of uncomfortable and it does really squeeze your head and it makes gaming just kind of a chore because you don't really want to do things if you're in pain and it gives me headaches and earache and, and jaw ache and you know arse ache sometimes but that was only the first few days when I didn't really know how to use it and enough said about that we don't need to go into that so yeah um, another reason it's totally wireless 100% wireless You'll find no wires here, Batman. And uh, yeah, so it plugs in with a little dongle, and um, so yes, yeah, I do apologize. The lighting isn't brilliant right now, but hopefully, you can still see it. I can see it. Ooh, hello. Isn't that fun? Okay, so let's just get this started, shall we? Uh -huh. So. I did do a bit of um, pre-cutting just to uh, make sure everything is out and voila there we go so that pretty much this unboxing video done um, if you <laughs> no I'm messing with you so let's get rid of this and let's see what we're looking at here and straight off the bat they are very very light the padding seems good around this area and also this area here. Yep, that seems good. And yeah, it's a pretty, it's a good looking headset. You know, you've got the uh, Turtle Beach. Oh, that's a nice effect, isn't it? Turtle Beach with the mat and the um, the other bit, the shiny bit. But what else do we have in here? Well, we've got a microphone. Put it the ball. Like a thumb, fully imposable. Very good. And what do we have here? Oh, that's, that's nothing we can get rid of that. So we got a bunch of wires. That is an auxiliary cable, I believe. So you can plug in your iPhone and just use them as regular headphones. This looks like the charging cable. That looks really short. Very, very, very short. Because with my previous headsets, or one of mine, the Turtle Beach ones, oh, that's a finger. This thing, as you can see, is really, really long. And it's even spooled, I don't know if you can see that, like around the bottom of the PC arm, or leg, whatever you want to call it. So that could be a pain in the ass, because if the cable's not long enough, you're going to have to stop and charge it before you can use it again. What else do we have here? So we've got the little dongle and the... Uh, that's open. Yep, and the... Uh, Optical, that's the one. Optical cable. Stop! Attention! Do not return this product to the store. Turtle Beach can help. I'm sure they can. Okay, so... Yeah, we don't need all that, so I can go to that. Right here, then. I keep doing that, sorry. I keep putting my finger in front of it because I'm using it vertically instead of horizontally. Or is it horizontally instead of vertically? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So yeah, so first point, very, very, very light, which is really good because a heavy headset is just going to make things uncomfortable. You don't want a lot of weight on your head because you're just going to get a stiff neck and maybe a stiff cock. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. 
got a little dongle thing here that plugs straight in. Now, as you can see on the side here, there's a little hole, and that's for the optical. So the optical goes into uh, there, and then this bit goes into the back of the PlayStation. Bob's your uncle, fan as your aunt, and all that good stuff. But like I said, yeah, this, that yeah, could be a problem. I mean, I don't imagine it's going to be too hard to get a longer cable. Uh, but yeah, it's probably a case that you're going to have to make sure it is fully charged if you're going to go for a full-on mind-blowing 15 hours of gameplay. Otherwise, you could be disappointed. And this, this is a plus point. Yeah, well, it was when I had a PS3, because that's what I used to use my old title beat is on my PS3. And having the auxiliary thing here, mean I could plug in my iPod and listen to music while doing it, but not so much of an issue now, because you've got Spotify and you've got the USB player as well, so... But still, nice to have got those things there. So like I said, first impression is good. You've got all the buttons you need on the actual headset itself. Hopefully you can see this. So you've also got presets. You've got uh, chat volume, game volume. And that's a little charger thing, and that's for the auxiliary. And over here, you have nothing. No, it's not that side. So let's uh, hold these on and see what we're looking at. I don't know if you heard that. Did you hear that? It's powered on. The cable's caught on here. Excuse me. Get off! Mm, probably a lot of noise there. So yes, they uh, they seem comfortable. They seem... Well, I don't know if they're comfortable. I haven't put them on yet. But they seem very light. Um, also, the big bonuses is this. The whole movement there and there. And also, you can turn it as well. With the other headset I tried, um, the Afterglows, you couldn't do that with them, you couldn't turn it, so it wasn't comfortable, there wasn't much padding around the uh, around the cans, around the cups, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, that's why I got rid of those. Right, so that's pretty much as much as I can do at this point. What I want to do now is I'm going to go give them a try, and I will report back to you in a moment. So, peace. Okay, we're back, and I'm still impressed. The um, so I went and played some um, uh, GTA. I also watched the newest uh, episode of Community as well. The sound is really, really, really good, and it's also, as I anticipated, very, very comfortable. I could probably put these on and fall asleep in my chair, and I wouldn't wake up with like a headache or jaw ache or whatever. So there we go, that's a very good point. Also, the other good point is, while playing around with the presets, now you heard it when I turned it on, that it did a little, uh, did a little, little lady voice telling you what's going to happen. I really like that, because with my previous headset, uh, the other turtle beach one I showed you, there was just basically a little beep, 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 when you went through the presets. So you, unless you kind of memorise which one you wanted, how many bips you needed to get to the preset that you really like to use, it's a pain. Um, so this one telling you exactly what the preset is, it's massively helpful. It just makes things a lot easier and a lot simpler to kind of, you know, go on and do. Uh, and find the one you want, which is also very, very good. So I said, very comfortable, the sound is really, really good. Um, and also, you know, I'll use it for about an hour, and I've just got these out of the box, I haven't, I haven't charged them or anything, and they're still going. Now, some say that this could be a problem, this little blinking, but I don't think it's going to be. I've got really poor peripheral vision, so it's not going to be a problem. If you're playing in the dark and you're playing in a very, very enclosed space, then it could get on your nerves, but I don't really think it will do. I think you'll be concentrating more on what's happening on the screen than what's happening around the screen. So, again, that's just my personal opinion. I don't think that it's going to be a problem. Also, the other thing I've heard about these headsets from looking, because I did do a lot of research, and I urge you all to do the same. If you're going to spend 70, 80, 100, 200, 300 quid on a headset, do your research. Look at the reviews. See what everybody else, because you can get, you can take what the, you know, you can listen to what the manufacturer says and 
is it really going to be honest? They're, they're going to tout it as much as they can just to make a sale, to be honest with you. Is it wrong? I don't know. I don't care. That's their problem. But do your research. I researched these. One of the things that kind of kept coming up was a buzzing that your friends would hear when your microphone is plugged in. I've also found a workaround to that. I haven't experienced it because all of my friends, they're, um, you know, they're doing proper jobs for a living, not making unboxing videos. But, uh, you know, I'm an unemployed loser, so fuck it, I don't care. I'm between jobs, I'm figuring out what I want to do with my life. That was a very squeaky door. I don't know if you heard that. So, yes, the buzzing. I keep getting off on tangents here. I've got a very short attention span, it's like a fish. I wish I was a fish. Because then I could swim. That'd be good. Ugh, sorry, again. <laughs> sorry, I keep doing that. So, um, the buzzing. Now, what happens is, if you plug in your uh, controller charger cable, and you've also got this plugged in, it's kind of a grounding effect, I think it's called, where you'll get a buzzing. I don't know, I haven't experienced it, but a lot of people have. The solution to that is charging the controller with another USB port. Whether you'll have the facility to do that, I don't know. I luckily have this thing here which has got like loads of regular plugs but it's also got the little uh, USB plug so I'll top of phone in there there's no point in using a plug if you've got a USB charger port there so that's really handy and it should get rid of that uh, that ground effect sort of thing the buzzing that people will hear I will report back if there is a problem but I don't think there's going to be but like I said for the price £70 I'll go through the plus points so firstly pricing £70 can't really go wrong there are other headsets unless you want to go and just really go full hog and just spend 250 quid on like astro a50s or the stealth 800s you can't really go wrong at the price because not many people are gonna want to go and throw 250 300 quid on a headset that they're just going to use primarily for gaming some will of course some have the, the facility you know they have the money they got the wonga to go and do that but not everybody does so if you're looking for a relatively cheap headset I recommend these. It gets my thumbs up seal of approval. Uh, comfort again. That's a big sticking point because I think I was kind of uh, I was kind of tainted when I bought my first headset. Those Turtle Beaches because they were so comfortable, and then when those turned out to be not so comfortable, they're still kind of they're not plugged in. They're still kind of there, but that was annoying. Um, totally wireless as well. I don't know if you, if many of you are like me, but. I will tend to stand up and maybe walk around the room between sessions, like say you're waiting for a lobby to load up or whatever, or you may go downstairs and get a drink you just can't be able to take your headset off. The amount of times I've actually got up with that thing on, got part way across my room, only to have it snap off my head or yank the uh, the decoder box off the, uh, off the, off the TV stand, <laughs> it's not even comical. It, uh, it's annoying. So having a fully 100% wireless headset is brilliant. So they're the pros. The cons. The buzzing could be one. I don't know. I haven't experienced it. So again, do your research. Um, there is a solution out there that I've just mentioned. Whether that solution works, I don't know because I haven't encountered the problem to apply the solution. Mm. So that's your, that's your bag, not mine. The next one is... Now, with my other Turtle Beach one, these motherfuckers, I noticed that there's not really great noise cancellation um, in terms of you can hear what's happening on you know in the game or on your film or in the music, you know, very 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 easily. That's fine, but it's what everybody else hears outside. So if you're recording and you're using a microphone, which I tend to do, there's my blue snowball. There's the possibility that that could also pick up on what's coming out of the headset, which will give you a horrible echoing in your videos, if you're going to do videos, that is. If you're not going to do videos, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, you, you may get a bit of background through the microphone. If the microphone picks up also what's coming through here, that could be a problem. But unless you have it really, really, really loud and your microphone is pretty much glued to the side of your headset, I don't anticipate it's going to be a problem and plus you can use things like I don't know, audacity I think they you know you can find out ways to clean up the audio the background audio 
Um, I haven't tried it, but again, that's a possible solution if that's a problem. But like I said, for seventy quid, you can't you can't really go wrong because, like I said, not many people are going to go out and spend two three hundred quid on Astros or the you know the top of the line Turtle Beaches or or you know whatever else the Razer. I think they do headsets as well. I'm not I'm not sure. Not really much of a PC game. I'm getting into it. I want to get into it. I've got my little, my little monster sitting here. But yeah, uh, if I had to give it a score out of ten, I would give it a very very solid eight. I give it eight materials out of ten. So that is the best I can do for you. The best price, my brother. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, pricing is really good. The sound quality is really good, it's very very comfortable, it's totally wireless, there are all the plus points. The minus points, again, with those you know, those cons, those minus points, I've given you possible solutions as well. But again, like I said, do your own research, have a look at other reviews. I think Briar Rabbit did a really good review on these head uh, on these um this headset as well. Um I I'll leave a link in the description to his video as well. Hopefully he will see that I am friend and he will make me YouTube famous. Just like him, because he's a, he's a rabbit, I hear. And uh, who doesn't want to be friends with a famous rabbit? You know, like a like Roger Rabbit. Or Bugs, you know, Bugs Bunny is a bunny. But is a bunny a rabbit? It's a bunny rabbit, you know? M many, many questions. Many, many questions and not many answers. I don't know why I'm doing an accent, you know? Hey, I could do this accent, yeah. You know? I'm, uh, I'm Scottish, you know? I like uh, I like sensual headsets. Ooh, all matte black and with the blue flashing lights. Yeah, makes my kilt tent up. Ooh, a treat. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was my unboxing video of the uh, Stealth 400 Tunnel Beach headset. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and uh, well, you know, slap the like button right chops. It deserves it. Uh, subscribe for more content. Uh, check out my gaming videos as well. Uh, there's all. I heard you, shut up woman, shut up woman, shut up woman, thank you, see, you know with a headset you've got women just there, 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 there in your ear, so yeah, anyway, as I said, uh, subscribe for more content, uh, check out my gaming videos, hopefully she will stop interrupting me, yep, it's turned off, she stopped interrupting me, so yeah, as I said, check out the gaming videos, check out my Twitter, that's on there uh, as well, on my, in the link in the description, uh, check out the Briar um, Rabbit, Briar Rabbit video as well because he did a really good review on these and that's what kind of put me to go and buy this headset. And um, I will catch you boys and girls on the flip side. Peace.